Okay, we're going to have a quick look. This is Pablo. Uh, we're going to have a quick look at uh, a emergency stop. Teaching the very, very basics, the very, very foundations of teaching emergency stop. Uh, again, sometimes when I ask owners, what, does, what do you want your dog to do? What's the, what's the word stop mean to your dog? They say, oh, stop chasing this, or um, stop and look at me, or lay down, or whatever. It's very, very vague what they want. Again, I want to pair it right the way back to what does it mean to the dog? That's, <laughs> that's who's receiving the cue. It's in the eye of the beholder. Um, so I'm going to do some day one stuff with Pablo. Um, I knew the day was going to come. So some day one training with Pablo. And the word stop to him is going to mean a treat appears behind his butt. I don't care what Pablo does. I don't care if he stops or not. I haven't taught it to him. So how can I expect it? I start saying, speak Greek. <laughs> Teach me some Greek and then you can ask me to speak it. Um, to do it the other way around is bananas. So, I'm gonna say stop, throw a treat behind Pablo's butt. As soon as he looks at me again, I'm gonna say stop, throw a treat behind Pablo's butt. I'm not gonna wait for him to do any behavior. That treat's coming, that's the deal. I'm also gonna put my hand above my head when I say stop, and then count a beat and then throw a treat. Because I want that to be a hand signal as well. So when he's a million miles away, which often happens, the tone of my voice is going to be different because because of the distance my voice is going to have to travel uh, but the shape of my body although it's going to be smaller is going to be consistent so the silhouette is that hand above my head not this because the hand will get lost in the background of my uh, body um, at any sort of distance so that's what we're going to do and we'll see how we get on got to find him first Pat. Stop. Treat behind his butt. As soon as he looks at me again, stop. Treat behind his butt. I can keep moving. The only thing that needs to be consistent is my hand signal and uh, verbal cue. Stop. Treat behind his butt. Stop. Treat behind his butt. Don't worry if you're no good at throwing, that's not important. But the principle that he gets reinforced behind him is going to stop him getting reinforced by coming forward to pick up the food. But then we can change that context as well once it's a little bit stronger. So it doesn't matter if you're this close. Stop, treat behind his butt. Start reinforcing him in situ. Once it gets a bit stronger. Oh boy. We're gonna do one more just so the camera catches it. Gonna throw him that way. Stop. Treat behind his butt. Cool. Any questions, email me. Info at stevemandogtraining.com or info at imdc.uk No! <laughs> info at imdc.uk.com Cool, adios!